Oh hi, my name is Vince and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to remove the spare tire for my LX470. But before we move forward, I just want to ask you guys a big favor and that is by liking and subscribing to this channel. Although I don't post a lot of videos, it just helps me in the long run. So no, let's just dive right in. Now, I just want to point out that this is not your typical under the car, uh, like spare tire uh, mount. Um, if you guys don't know, some of the LX470s or maybe other older cars, um, their spare tire mounts have actually a locking system, kind of like the the bolt or the, the wheel lock that you guys have for your cars right now. Um, this spare tire mount actually has that and I'm gonna be showing you guys what I actually mean by that later after I remove it from the car but um, the previous owner of this car uh, actually forgot to give me the key to the lock so I'm having a hard time to actually remove the spare tire and that is the reason why I'm gonna be um, videotaping this process today and just to help you guys or show you what I um, I did and maybe you can take some of this lesson or some of this way um, if you are in this kind of predicament that I am so so like I said since I don't have the key for the the, the wheel lock kind of thing for this uh, spare tire mount what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using an angle grinder and I'm just gonna be cutting the wire that holds um, the spare tire uh, up and under the car. So as you can see, that's the wire right there. And that's the one that's holding this part right here. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. That way it's going to free up the, the wheel or the spare tire. And when I told you guys earlier about the lock, it's actually that part right there. Um, this one right here so usually you can just um, use you know the the tools that comes with the car and then just poke that through and then you start turning it but this one actually has a lock the one that I've been um, talking about since earlier so there's no way for me to turn that thing hence um, this thing not coming down and coming loose so yeah let's go ahead and cut this wire and I will be replacing that mechanism because I am going to be using this um, space underneath for something else. And um, I'll be showing you guys that later as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut that thing. And By the way, I forgot to tell you guys. So for this one, I'm going to be using a floor jack just to support the tire or the spare tire. That way, when after cutting the wire, uh, that spare tire won't just come falling down on me so we're gonna go ahead and use this jack to support that and then let's move on to the process Now all we have to do is just lower the jack and then we're good. Alright guys, so this is the wheel lock that I was actually referring to. So normally, it doesn't look like this. It's just your typical 
I guess, um, line like that, one line, so that you can just, you know, attach whatever uh, tools that come with your car, and then you can just turn it. But like you said, like like you can see right here, it's kind of like a star pattern. Um, I've tried buying the locks different kind of locks but apparently this is kind of like unique to each car so that's the reason why i couldn't just turn it easily so yeah we're gonna go ahead and like i said if you guys want to just remove your spare tire you're done but i'm gonna go ahead and replace this mechanism because i'm gonna be using this space right here for something else all right guys so i was able to remove the original or the old spare tire mount and as you can see it's not just your typical star pattern it's like i said kind of specific to a specific car um it's very hard to match that with just like your regular you know your regular wheel lock um that was the reason why i couldn't couldn't just turn it so i had to cut it but um I'm going to show you guys the replacement that I have. Usually, this is like a typical under the car um, spare tire mount. This is how it usually looks like. So, you're going to be putting your um, the provided uh, hardware for your car. And then you can just put it in there and then just turn it. So, it's easy. And there you go. As you can see totally different and I will be putting um, this a link on the description box for this one in case you are in need of a similar um, part in case you are in a similar situation as me all right here guys is the new one so as you can see it's just mounted with four um, four bolts right there so just go ahead and use the original um, hardwares that came or the one that you just removed and you can reuse that to just mount this on this here. Alright so there you have it guys it's all mounted now. Um, like I said I did replace this because I need this space for something which I will be showing you guys in probably some of the next videos. But um, yeah if you don't need to put anything on this side and you have like a swing out tire carrier and you just want to free up your spare tire from underneath then you don't really need to replace this one so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and as always catch you on the next video